This brief video is to describe the contents of a Marshall Best Security Mortis lock. At the end of the box you will see a label. The label will contain the function of the lock. It will also have the style of trim, indicate what finish it is. It would also say what handing it is. Although the Marshall Best Mortis locks are field reversible, so if you purchase a right-handed lock, and need to reverse it to a left-handed, the instructions are included, allowing you to change the handing in the field. This particular unit indicates that it's not equipped with a cylinder. However, for demonstration purposes in this video, we did include a cylinder and a thumb turn. Let's take a look in the box. The first thing you'll find at the top of the box are your installation guide and your installation template. You'll notice that the template has all of the dimensions to include the hole cutouts and door prep needed to install this mortise lock. Although the MBS mortise lock case is an industry standard size, in some cases you may need to make some slight modifications to the hole cutouts for the handles and possibly the cylinder. This template does include some additional helpful information, for example, how to identify the handing of a door, in addition to the bevel line indicating where to line up the template on the door prior to door prep. Now let's take a look at the installation guide. You'll notice this is a very simple guide to follow. There is an exploded view of all of the components for the lock with a step-by-step -step instruction each step is numbered on the correct component in the diagram in order to install. As I mentioned in the beginning of the video, on the back page you will find the field handing reversing instructions, which simply require a small Allen wrench and a Phillips screwdriver. Simply follow these four easy steps and you shouldn't have any trouble reversing the lock in the field. Now let's take a look at the hardware. On top of the box there will be two small boxes containing several components. You'll find a strike insert along with a new strike plate. This will also have your interior handle. Next is the assortment of fasteners needed to secure the lock to the door. In the other box, we're going to find the interior rose cover, along with the exterior rose cover, the exterior handle, the last item in the box, we did package a cylinder spacer. You'll notice this particular spacer is considered a vandal resistant spacer by virtue of the taper and the design and the spring. Let's take a look at the cylinder now. This is a mortise cylinder. It's used to house the core in order to unlock the lock cylinder goes into the tapered ring and then is installed into the mortise lock. We also included a thumb turn for the demonstration purposes. This is an optional item that goes on the interior. The fasteners would be in the packet and this is designed to lock and unlock the door from the inside. In the bottom of the box, you're going to find a cardboard separator. Simply remove this and discard it. This is where you're going to find your mortise lock case, which will be packaged separately. Simply unbox it. This is a right-handed mortise lock case. And the last item in the box is the cover plate used to cover the end of the mortise lock case, like so. If 
Thank you for watching.